start at the beginning with amino acids. Amino acids begin their journey in our extracellular matrix or ECM. They are organic compounds that regenerate skin cells, boost our immune system, and build proteins. When amino acids bond together, they create short chains that are the structure and foundation of our cells, muscles, and tissues. They play an integral role in wound healing, skin repairing, bones, muscles, and hair. I want you to visualize an amino acid as a single bead in a necklace, okay? Amino acids will search out and begin binding with other amino acids to build short chains. Like a single bead will link with other beads to build an entire necklace. These short chains are called peptides. These peptides begin intertwining and become the building blocks of proteins in our skin and every other organ in the body. They are the catalysts for protein production, which is the most plentiful compound in the body other than water, and make up skin proteins like collagen and elastin. These protein peptides are the skin's foundation and are responsible for its thickness, firmness, texture, and its snap. Amino acids and peptides are linked by peptide bonds. These peptide bonds are what enzymes like MMPs go after to break down the proteins in our skin. You can watch our video entitled MMPs and TIMPs to learn more. These peptide bonds are on the material that you string your amino acid beads on. You can cut the string in between your beads and your necklace will fall apart, just like enzymes will digest the peptide bonds to break apart the peptides into smaller, more digestible pieces. If you like what you've seen and want more of the same, please hit like and subscribe. Peptide chains of fewer than 20 amino acids are called oligopeptides and include dipeptides, which is two amino acids, tripeptides, three amino acids, tetrapeptides, four amino acids, and so on. You will see prefixes like di, tri, and tetra, which describe how many amino acids make up that particular peptide. A polypeptide is a longer, continuous, unbranched peptide chain of up to 50 amino acids. A polypeptide that contains more than 50 amino acids becomes, wait for it, a protein. The shorter the peptide, the more bioactive they become. The term bioactivity refers to the ability of a small molecule to activate the biological function of its targeted cell. Let's take a look at collagen as a great example. Collagen is made up of three polypeptide chains and 19 different amino acids, making it a fairly large molecule. It's unable to absorb through our skin. But when the smaller hydrolyzed collagen amino acids and peptides are applied, our skin can absorb these little beauties and put them to work, making them bioactive. Peptides act as a little protein messenger with a very specific message, like a built-in GPS directing them to a very specific location. Pretend that every cell in your body has a built-in lock and every peptide has the only key that fits in that specific lock. When it's applied in your skin, it will penetrate and its internal GPS will automatically direct its key to its perfectly matching lock. The messages they deliver are highly specific and the body knows exactly how to respond to that particular delivery system to increase firmness in our collagen or to strengthen capillaries or to help the snap in our elastin. To watch this full length education video along with dozens of others, click on the link in the description below. Professional Skincare Training is an all-level skincare education platform. It features hours upon hours of skincare training for a low monthly membership price of only $24. Sign up today.